It feels like since June, we haven't gotten a character that the whole community wanted to summon for. And so I understand that after saving your jewels for so long, you might be tempted to summon for Kyoka. And don't get me wrong, she is a really, really good unit. And she will work with Summer Kiero, a character that a lot of people are calling one of the best characters that will drop during the year. So by that logic, one should summon for Kyoka. However, I believe that I will only summon for characters that either have super interesting kits or that I love the design for. And while Kyoka is cute, I mean, I don't really care for cute characters at all. And her kit, while very good, lacks in creativity. And I don't think every character should be a creative uh, masterpiece, but if they're not, I'm not gonna be tempted to summon. So let's take a look at Kyoka and discuss this for a bit. So she has this skill that deals very, very strong damage. That's her Union Burst, it's insane. Her skill one deals good damage, she has a buff to her own magic attack, and she has a passive that buffs her own magic attack. So in terms of magic attack, she's gonna be great. And in the long run, in PvP, she's not gonna be great. However, right now, if you hop onto PvP, you'll see Miyako, 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 after Miyako going again and again. So as you can see here, Miyako in all three, two of them have Miyako. So Miyako is like three more Miyako. So every comp has Miyako. And so Kyoka is gonna be a really good option to counter Miyako. And my hope is that we get enough Kyokas that Miyakos get out of the meta so I can just play without dealing with Miyakos. Like, that's kind of my hope. It was not going to happen. I don't know, but we can hope. But I'm not going to be summoning personally for um, Kyoko. And uh, another reason is that she's not limited. And I understand that this is the best chance to pull her. But she is not limited. So she could come at any time. And she doesn't become insane much later on. She's really good for bosses and stuff. But not all of them. And it's still better in clan battle to run physical teams that just reduce physical damage. So all in all, or physical defense, sorry. So she's not even going to be the best for like clan battles and stuff. She could be good as like another option, but not the best. And, and so because she's not limited, by the time she becomes really good when she gets a six star, that's years from now. And by then you probably will get a random Kyoka from one of your summons, right? So unless you really want to deal with Miyakos right now and unless you're really interested in certain bosses and hoping that Kyoka is going to help you or you're just investing in making your summer Carol better then I would skip this banner right so it's going to cost you 45,000 jewels to get her and now while I could invest all my jewels in getting her absolutely that's not going to happen I'm not going to do it for someone with such a basic kit that doesn't even look that good for me you know I'm sure she's the wife of some people for some reason, but uh, not for me. So I'm not going to be summoning on this one. All in all, she's going to be great for PvP right now, but once Miyako stops being meta, she's not going to be as good for a very long time. When Summer Kiara drops, she's going to be really, really good for a lot of content, but then she'll be outclassed and outshined by other magical attackers until she gets her 6 star. And while she has some uses for certain bosses that will come, being a single target means she's very limited to only bosses. And so, all in all, a great unit that I feel like a lot of people can skip. Um, but it, if you're summoning for Summer Carol, it's very tempting to combine both. I personally will also skip Summer Carol because unless her kit is insane, I don't care for Carol as a character. So I'm probably going to skip that. But if her kit's really, really interesting, I might go in for it. So yeah, we'll see. I know a lot of people like to test the water with summons, see if they can get anything in the first few multis. I understand that sentiment. I really, really do. And it might be tempting. You know, you might get lucky in your first multi, but oftentimes that will lead to waste. So it's probably best you don't do that. And a big reason would be, first of all, obviously you want 45,000 jewels for any character you save up for, but you can get lucky between the 45,000 jewels on that banner as well. So I don't think anyone should ever waste a multi or two here maybe if you want your skip tickets but as you can see if you don't waste it you can stack up to like i did to 108 skip tickets and that's the equivalent of 15,000 jewels right so once you have 300 skip tickets that could be a guaranteed character of your dreams you don't have to waste them here and there i understand why you do it and if you think that's going to increase your enjoyment of the game definitely you have to do it 
But if you're like me and you don't mind hoarding for a long time and sacrificing a bit of being good at the game for the long term, you can you don't have to waste your jewels. Enjoy the video. And tomorrow I'll bring you guys a guide to this new event. Hopefully it's not too hard and I won't spoil it. Uh, so I'm gonna skip it real quick. No need to spoil anyone. Oops, if you read that, don't don't pause. Um, we're getting a nice animation here. So yeah, so it's gonna be exactly like the other one. So you could watch my guide on that one, but I'll cover it. And I'm super happy. It continues with the trend of giving us shards. Mimi is a very interesting character, and the Misagi herself, not the best, but still pretty cool. She has this blinding skill, which is always nice. So let's take a look at something they added which is the comic system so i'm not going to spoil it but you can always come here and read a comic so it's a new feature they added and i can't wait to see more uh so hopefully if if you if you're tempted by kyoka and you don't know if you want to summon but you're leaning towards no definitely don't read this because you might end up liking her a bit more and it might tempt you i'm not even tempted so i'm definitely going to read but it's more story for kyoka and stuff so yeah and that's